What we have here is called a growing medium. And the growing medium is comprised of uh, crushed bricks, volcanic rock, and 15% and 15% organic matter. But the reason why uh, we have it this way is because of the ability for it to store a lot of water and also drain because you have to sustain the life of these plants. So what we want to show now is we've leveled it off and we've got four, we leveled it off to approximately four to five inches of growing medium. And to show this, I'm, I've got a measuring tape and I'm actually going to dig down to the geosynthetic because I actually want to measure. So this is what I've got. So I'm taking my measuring tape, I'm putting it at this point, and as per my finger going across, we're at four to just a little over four inches. So that is absolutely acceptable to put the plants in. So what we're showing here is the growing medium uh, being watered. The idea here is that the growing medium allows water to shed through. It will shed through, down, through the geosynthetic into the MS-20. The MS-20 uh, cups will now fill up and there are also water retention and also a reservoir for the, to, new, uh, to give water to the plants when a drought does come. And if too much water does come in, water can still get through the perforations as we show at the start of the video. So to show uh, how the growing medium drains, what I'm going to do is flood this area with this garden hose for approximately 30 seconds. So I have my watch here and we're going to begin now. And as you can see, the water is draining down, and as it's draining down, it's going to go through the geosynthetic into the MS-20 cups, and then if too much water comes in, the, the reservoirs will fill up, but the excess will go through the perforations and drain away to the drain. If we were to take this garden hose and go into your backyard and spray your ground for 30 seconds, you would have some areas that would begin to pool. But since I did this with the growing medium, what happens with the growing medium is that the water, the growing medium will retain water. And once it's reached its capacity of retaining water, it's going to drain down. And as it drains down, it's going to go through the filter fabric. As it goes through the filter fabric, it will fill the cups of the MS-20. Once the, it reach, it's reached capacity, the excess will now flow into the perforations down underneath the MS-20 and to the drain. So to show how the MS-20 is working, We've actually pulled back the growing medium that we, we saturated with water. And as you can see here, those cups have now filled up with water. If more water does come in, there's perforations all the way through on the MS-20 that when the water rises, the, the excess will now flow into the perforation down underneath the MS-20 and uh, flow easily to the drain. As you can see, I'm pushing down my finger. Those cups are filled with water. Here we have an engineering letter to show that the roof can hold 40 pounds per square foot for a green roof. This is the product information data sheet for the growing medium that we used for our green roof. I'd like to point out under volume weight 
The saturated volume weight is 0 .907 kilograms per liter. On this particular roof, we had a growing medium height of 4 inches, which is a load of 19 pounds per square foot. Now to summarize the weight question for our green roof, we know that uh, we have 19 pounds per square foot of growing medium, and we have to also add the weight of the water that's in the MS-20 cups, which works out to uh, 1.5 pounds per square foot, which gives us a total of 20 and a half pounds, which is well within the safe zone of the 40 pounds per square foot that this roof was designed for. So here we have our green roof and what I'd like to do is an overview and what we see here of course the plants are in place and we show our growing medium and we also show the river stone all around the edges and the river stone around the edges and around the drain is there to prevent any roots from coming in and clogging up the system or growing over on top of the parapet. But below this, we had our geosynthetic, and the geosynthetic was designed or put in place for the purpose of keeping the growing medium out of the cups of the MS-20. And then below the geosynthetic, we have the MS-20 that's also perforated. The perforations are there so that in case of too much water coming in, the overflow can easily go with those perforations and drain underneath nicely to the, to the drain. And then below the MS-20, we also installed the root barrier, which is there to protect the uh, waterproofing that was done for the roof from the roots.